I wouldn't be surprised if we look back in a few years and, and, and realize that we're having parts of the world swapping places with each other. And you've got China and Germany starting to consume more and produce less, and other places doing the opposite. And, and that's, what it's all, that's what it's all about, really. In terms of the absolute world struggling the way that people emotionally talk about, the, the Eurozone, after all, itself, in the first quarter, was slightly stronger than people expected because of Germany. Um, so, yes, there's, there's very severe pockets of adjustment going on, but the notion that the world is falling apart again, it's not, as of yet, evident to me. So you asked where the, the headspace of America are, and, and I would offer a few observations. So don't think that everything's going to be all right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably a little less sanguine than you are, but I share your sense that if you zoom out of Europe for a moment, it feels le much less dire, and the US is in a much better place, but I see it very vulnerable to, to Europe. But, but I think a couple of perspectives from the US, uh, particularly closer to the eye of the storm, there is um, we were guided during the policy reactions of 2009 in particular by the conviction, and uh, I wish Europe had had this conviction earlier, that the people who talk the most about moral hazard are the people who in the end write the biggest checks.